Elite Facts presents eight hilarious knockoff products. Eight video games. There's a rich tradition of knockoff video games consoles dating back to the early success of the NES. Back then, video games were primarily for children, so it was easier for manufacturers to fool unsuspecting parents into buying their kids a brick gaming system. It's not all bad, though. Some of these consoles can play or emulate retro games, sometimes from multiple systems. In lieu of buying genuine retro systems, this can be a cheap and easy way to experience game libraries from past systems. Still, for the most part, this is just shameless money grabbing. These knockoff systems show how crazy cash ins can become when copyright laws aren't enforced. Even to this day, you'll find various knockoff consoles on the market, with most of them having the exact same chip, meaning that if you had more than one of these handheld POP stations, odds are they're going to play the exact crappy game. You're better off just buying a Tiger electronic wristwatch. At least you get more variety out of one of those damn things. 7. Mockbusters Mockbusters are low-budget imitations of popular Hollywood films. Made by small studios, their release dates closely follow those of the films they're ripping off. This insidious strategy works particularly well with children's films. I mean, it makes sense, really, as there's always a case where Graham Graham is out looking for a Christmas gift for little Billy who wants a DVD of the film Transformers, but is instead given its direct-to-DVD ripoff, Transmorphers. The filmmakers obviously hope to profit from parents' confusion. Some of these knockoffs are hilariously shameless. Atlantic Rim apes 2013's Pacific Rim. Apocalypse Z reimagines World War Z. Transformers becomes Transmorphers. Kung Fu Panda? That's called Chop Kick Panda. Some bootlegs are hilariously bad, too. Who could forget such classics as Peppy Likes Tacos, Alan Quartermain and the Temple of Skulls, and of course, Aliens vs. Titanic. Beautiful. 6. Clothing Everyone wants to look cool when they're doubled over from a jog to the corner store or running from their neighbor's frighteningly aggressive miniature fox terrier. Sportswear companies know this. It's why they set such exorbitant prices. They want you to work hard for their goods. They want you to sweat. It's no wonder, then, that consumers turn to imitation brand wear like Adidas, Heike, Canoverse, and Fuma. Their prices are comparatively low and you can conveniently pick them up from your nearest black market. Sure, the quality leaves a lot to be desired, but who wants sneakers that last longer than two weeks, right? That's unnatural. Slap on that pimp hat, shameless reimagining of Puma, lace up those ball star classics, and help out the little guy. If you're struggling to remain motivated, remember the hikey motto. Just do that thing you said you'd do. 5. Soft drinks. You know what's bad? Store brand soft drinks. Like, no offense to people who like store brand soft drinks, but from the ones we've purchased, as well as hearing other people's input on store brand soft drinks, they're just downright awful. Most of the time, they're flavorless and lacking carbonation. It's almost like you're drinking flat, soapy dishwater. Well, the case is pretty much exactly the same when it comes to knockoff drink brands. All around the world, small-scale beverage companies struggle in the sugary shadows of behemoths like the Coca-Cola Company. What's the little guy to do? Well, shamelessly replicate brand likeness, of course. To give an idea of the sheer scope of these imitations, here's a list of international Mountain Dew knockoffs. There's Mountain Lightning, Mountain W, Mountain Rapids, Mountain Frost, Mountain Shoutin', Mountain Explosion, Mountain Lion, and Wild Mountain. Just reading them makes us feel like we've climbed a mountain. Here's a similar list for Dr. Pepper. You got Dr. Bob, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Skipper, Dr. Fine Soda, Dr. Perky, Dr. Snap, Dr. Perfect, Dr. Becker, Dr. Bold, and Dr. Wright. All of these doctors sound like they got their PhD off of a cereal box. They taste like trash. 4. Butter. Of all the things you'd rip off, why butter? Just why? The J.H. Filbert Company had no idea what a phenomenon their hilariously named butter substitute, I can't believe it's not butter, would create. I can't believe it's not was the pun of the 1990s. It was referenced in countless sitcoms and sounds like something Chandler would have ripped on. They even had Fabio in their commercials. Just stellar stuff, guys. 
Of course, the imitators soon took notice, and along came the astonished English of unbelievable, this is not butter. Forgiveness, please. ASDA's Puntabulous, you'd butter believe it. And Goldensoft's timid, unsure, could it be butter? Honorable mention also goes to what, not butter? And butter it's not. Three, candy. Everyone loves to indulge in their favorite confectionery item, but sometimes you just don't feel like paying those premium brand prices. You should, though, because most imitation brands just aren't very good. Ask anyone who's traveled to Southeast Asia. They usually taste like cardboard, and you've got a 70% chance of finding a syringe or band-aid when you reach into the packet. These knockoffs deserve points for creativity, though. I mean, M&M ripoffs called S&Ms. Now, that's a gateway candy. You've also got sour fritters, which, on account of sounding like an STD, are a whole lot less appetizing. Oreos imitators are Boreos, Borneos, Cream Clan, Oleo, and Cream Betweens, which ooze pun potential. Interestingly, Oreos themselves are knockoffs of the original sandwich biscuit, Hydrox. But Hydrox sounds like a water boss in a Zelda game and is unmarketable. Thus, Oreos wins. Two. Knockoff toys. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but there's not much that's flattering about these baffling toy knockoffs. Guaranteed to fall apart within a half an hour of opening, these future junk heap liners spread disappointment wherever they're found. Check out New Style Ninja Tortoise, a bastardization of the I Can't Believe It's Still Going Ninja Turtles franchise. Odds are, if your parent buys you one of these made-in-China knockoffs for Christmas, they probably hate you. Okay, that may be a bit too much, because we understand there are families out there who maybe can't afford to get the official toys for their kids. However, the point stands. We'd hate to see the poor kid who opens this sucker at Christmas. Gee, uh, thanks for listening to me for the last 11 months, Dad. New style Ninja Tortoise is just what I wanted. There's also the Mighty Mutant Power Turtles, which is what you end up with when Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles drink too much wine together. Or how about the scariest thing to come out of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise since the third film, in the form of Nightmare Fetty. Not Nightmare Freddy, but Nightmare Fetty. That face sculpt literally is the stuff of nightmares. The Star Wars franchise has some doozy knockoff toys too, including Laser Sword, which is like a lightsaber, only lamer, and Star Knight, which appears to be Vader moonlighting as a camp scooter totem police officer. Very European. This one is our personal favorite. So if you guys think Superman isn't super enough, how about his brother who doesn't get enough credit, Special Man? Finally, every unloved child should own Robert Cop 2. No, he's not Raymond's police officer brother from Everybody Loves Raymond, but he's just as surly. 1. Knock off cafe and restaurant brands. Nothing says capitalism, I mean America, like Starbucks coffee. The coffee house chain's been a global powerhouse since the 1980s and has sprouted locations all over the world. But this hasn't stopped a whole slew of imitators from riding Starbucks Coke tails and trying to make a quick buck. Check out China's Sunbucks Coffee, which uses the famous Starbucks logo design for its own selfish end. Stars Buck and Buck Star Coffee commit the exact same crime, as does USA Bucks Coffee, which we hear is in the running for a subtlety award. Starbucks has a long history of taking imitators to court, so you'd best think twice before opening that Snarbugs coffee joint. Oh, but don't worry, Starbucks isn't the only company that fell victim to knockoff brands. For anybody who's seen the 1988 film Coming to America, you probably know what's coming next – fast food restaurants. Much like in the film, there are a lot of places out there that rip off popular fast food joints by imitating their appearance or logo and changing the name of the brand ever so slightly in order to avoid a nice old cease and desist order. And no, that is not a pun. Take KFC, for example. There are plenty of examples where companies will use the anagram KFC but change the meaning of the K. Take, for example, Kabuki Fried Chicken. Then you get the obvious ripoffs that change the anagram altogether with companies like KFG, FBC, AFC, and our personal favorite, UFO, where the logo has Barack Obama's face instead of the colonel. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. 
Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.